All right, so we are reviewing the Karani Sounds Vapor Keys. I've already reviewed several of their plugins so far, and this is nothing less of quality. This is, of course, a older VST instrument. This leans more so on the simpler side, because to me, it looks like it doesn't morph into anything other than what we see here, which is cool because it's all about the sounds, right? But I must say this is very attractive looking here. This is very nice, very nice design. I really like it. So if we're looking at this from top to bottom, again, it's very simple. We click here, we got all your presets here, right? There you go, something you like, go ahead and save it. Or this is the tab or button you press when, well, I was gonna say bring in new presets, but eh, maybe not. I don't know if this does that. These two circles here, the top one and the bottom, just they're pretty much mapped to next or previous. That's how that works. Now, it looks like this is a dual engine. It holds two sounds at a time. You click here and you can change the wave sound. Also down here, you can change it from there. And from here, I want to say the the tone, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, the type of sound you get, if, if you want a buzz or a pluck or tremolo, 
I want to say that's what the tremors. Well, maybe not. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know what it's really doing. But anyway, <laughs> that's what that's what that is. It would make sense on other instruments, obviously, if you keep going and, and yeah, it would make sense. Then you got the modulators, modulation. You can control how much of it you want in here. And then you have your shaper here. This is pretty much your ADSR, your attack, decay, sustain, and release right there. Right? So that's the gap between what's going on here on the left side and what the output should sound like in terms of if you want a smoother sound, blah, blah, blah. Right? And then right next to this, we have the vapor dimension. I think this is some type of... Now, based on what I'm seeing, this is definitely an effects. You can morph this in between your chorus or echo or phaser or slap. Yeah, this is pretty much like your random effects section. This this definitely introduced dimension for sure. And then this section right here is your reverb deal. They call it the ethospace. Cool name. And from these you can change, switch between plate or room or whatever, whatever the case might be. And then of course you can control how much of it you want it, the, the drag signal to come in that affects your output or whatever, and then you can turn it up or down. And it's provided here in both sections. Now here at the bottom, your keyboard. I like to say that's for decoration, but I want to say this is probably more gear sore towards people who do not have hardware where they can just press a key and hear what it sounds like. So I guess you could get some type of representation of what the sound sounds like or simply just, I don't know. I don't know. It's there in case you need it. And then next to that is your... I want to say this might be your randomizer, if I'm not mistaken. So, so this first button is randomizing your sound or this whole section, which is a uh, duh sounds sound label here at the top. So you randomize your sound. So this whole section becomes, you know, one modular section, and then you can change the dimension which is mapped to this here now you can randomize whatever this is right and then next to that is to eat those random sounds or random effects and then off to the far right how much of the reverb or delay wet or dry to the entire signal right so we did not forget about the surprise button because i want it to be a surprise here we go let's surprise ourselves right All right, so speaking of surprise, I have a surprise for you guys in the description area. I would love for you to discover the link, the affiliate link to this instrument. If you like the sound of the vapor keys, click that link. Surprise yourself. Treat yourself to a surprise. How about that? Go ahead, treat yourself. These, these are, I want to say the price of these are it's pretty it's pretty decent it's pretty decent now i do have one question about the surprise button i wonder if this is kind of ai generated more like surprise between the different presets of this instrument or a surprise where it does a mixture of the three down here so if that's the case surprise you get way more presets than what they show you here because the surprise deal is definitely switching things up so that means you will never hear the same sound twice i'm gonna need it 
Karai employee to share how the algorithm works behind that button. All right. Surprise. That sounds like a surprise for real. That, this is a surprise. And on that note, guys, my name is Ella, B-Culture, Lifestyle Governed by Art.